Hey you guys, it's me, Jimstone from www.tarofahealing.com. I hope you guys are doing well. Hello Aquarius, this is your monthly astrological... Uh, this is your monthly astrological reading in the month of May. I was about to say March. What's going on? <laughs> the month of May. And um, I'm going to be pulling some runes for you. I'm going to be also pulling a card from the Angel Answers deck. And um, yes, before I get into your reading, I'm going to be doing um, what I have already done, reports for all of you guys. It's for all the signs and it's like an individual report for each sign. And all that is, is since, you know, 2015 has come in, I'm going to just be, I just got sort of overlooked all the readings that have been taking place for each sign to sort of see what kind of general themes are showing up in the readings, just to give you some kind of guidance, some direction. And also it might be able to give some insights into, you know, what could potentially be happening or transpiring as your year progresses. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just to sort of give you that kind of guidance, but it's not going to be hugely in depth because I'm still going to be doing these monthly readings. And so it just wouldn't make, like, I didn't want it to turn into like a, another year ahead or reading or something like that. Um, cause I already did that already, you know, which I want it to be more general because of the fact that I didn't want it to just be a repetitive message of what is happening in your month to month. Uh, readings in the future if you understand what I'm saying so um okay so I'm going to pick an angel answers card for you okay that my mic comes on. All right. okay so what I'm seeing for you guys in terms of work and finances is the page of swords with the three of pentacles and what that is telling me is The page of the Three of Pentacles is definitely about the work that you do. A lot of the time, it shows up when you are using your talents, gifts, and your abilities to do um, the work that you enjoy doing. So it could be that you enjoy doing this line of work, or it could be a case of just like the card. You're kind of maybe you do a job where you're working with your hands, or maybe there is a line of work that you're doing where you are allowed to be very creative and to be very expressive and um so also what i'm kind of seeing with the page of swords is almost like you may be wanting to do what it is that you feel that is right for you or what you want to create and if you're opposed or somebody <laughs> tries to oppose you you may not be willing to listen to what that person has to say I almost feel like there could be a conflict necessarily between you and somebody else in terms of the work that you're doing. Um, you may be wanting to stand up for the work that you're doing and say, you know what, I chose this and it's good and whatever. So you may almost have to um, maybe explain your creations to this person or explain maybe the work that you're doing to this person. Maybe they just don't get it. And um, that's sort of where they, there may be issues. Um but it also could be saying that maybe there's some information that you receive that is significant to the work that you do. Uh, maybe for some of you guys, it could be um, some communication comes through um, about your work. The only thing is that the Page of Swords sometimes can represent difficult communications. It can represent, um, sometimes it doesn't represent the best of news. Um, sometimes it doesn't represent the best of news again i feel like it can go either way it can mean that a communication be between you and somebody else could turn out to be quite challenging because again you might feel that you have to stand up for yourself or it could be a situation where you get some news about about something that you really want to do but then it's not exactly it may not exactly be the news that you wanted Or it could even be saying that you may, you may even get a situation or get a job that is more of what you want to do. But then there is an issue in terms of you, there is an, there's some issue that is going to show up in terms of it though. Like it's not going to be a straightforward process. It's almost like they're not just going to communicate with you and say, yeah, you've got the job. It's It's more like. There, there might be something additionally that you need to do 
but it's like there's going to be something that kind of makes it not so great news instantly if you kind of get what i'm saying it's like maybe there might be some addition some condition to you getting this opportunity or for you to do this work it also can be a card of having to work alongside other people as well having to take on other people's opinions and viewpoints and so when i look at that page of swords it's sort of telling me i don't think you're going to want to take on some of their opinions or their viewpoints so you may have to learn to cooperate with people you may have to compromise and um because it can sort of represent group projects having other people involved in what you do um it also can represent a contracting kind of job as well and maybe you're having you're being contracted to work for people that might be a bit difficult too or people that again you it's almost like you might be telling them okay this is the way um you're supposed to you're supposed to fit this or you're supposed to do this and then the other people like the people that you maybe you're working for might be saying well why do we have to do it this way and to you you're trying to do it the way that you know is going to work and they want you to do it differently and then that's when there might be like a conflict there so um but i feel like you're still going to do it your way anyway <laughs> it's like you are sort of steadfast in being like okay this is the, this is the best way and so i feel like you're just going to do that so um when it comes to those of you that are in relationships you have the moon with the high priest the high priest is about you being committed to your partner um the moon it's a bit of to me showing up here is sort of saying sometimes the moon can represent that which is unclear that which is not certain that which we sometimes fear because we can't really see it for what everything for what it is so when i see the moon next to the high priest it's sort of telling me there could be a commitment here but there's an uncertainty surrounding the commitment or it's not clear it's not obvious or it could be even be a case of maybe somebody is engaging in a secret relationship <laughs> a relationship that other people don't know about yet maybe it's or, or maybe um the two of you have decided to make a commitment this could even be two people that decide to get married and don't even tell people like you elope <laughs> and don't let anybody know or you could be engaged and nobody knows or maybe you're just not ready to tell people yet it could be that also but to me there's something sort of being keep kept away with the this moon card but to be honest i even if though it's it's sort of something being kept away i don't feel that it's bad i feel like maybe you're just waiting for when the time is right to tell people or let people know because i think it's going to be revealed eventually the moon card could also represent our deepest desires as well what we really hope well not not what we hope for um it's more like how we feel within ourselves that more emotional side of ourselves and that might be why that, that that also might be what is bringing this relationship into a deeper sense of commitment as well because it's almost like saying the feelings and the emotions are there between you and somebody else for it to, for you to want to solidify the relationship and you know the high priestess can also represent our traditions as well so you may be wanting to do things a traditional way you may be wanting a very traditional marriage or a very traditional relationship maybe wanting to get married in the church and all that other stuff or you could be very firm on having quite traditional roles that you play so but to be honest i feel like it's good for a relationship these cards it's nice yeah because i don't feel like it's anything sinister like the moon sometimes can represent that um, but I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's more on the side of just something being being kept away that you want to say eventually, but maybe you just again don't feel that the time is really right for it. Um, 
interesting those of you that are single you have judgment and the seven of pentacles judgment with the seven of pentacles is um this is interesting because you like i believe it was gemini um it's, it's almost like I'm feeling like these relationship cards, even though I'm doing them for like those of you that are in relationships and those of you that are single, I'm feeling like just like the Gemini, like the, your cards, they all want to come together. Like they want to all want to come together to bring one message. Because then judgment as well can represent, again, maybe even for those of you that are single, something being hidden and then coming to light. So again, I'm getting this idea of a secret relationship or a relationship where you haven't told other people about it. Or again, it could be even a, with the judgment, it could mean that there's a decision finally being made. Like you might finally become official with somebody. Because judgment is like you've passed that point of deliberation. And judgment is also about, you know, an ending that brings about a new beginning. So it could be a new beginning again, like maybe the ending is the secret and the new beginning is the reveal or the ending is a time of um, maybe even uncertainty about the direction that the relationship is heading in. And then the clarity comes that, OK, we're finally going to make the choice that we are going to be together and we're going to create something, um, create a sort of a stable relationship. Like we're going to go, we're going to be steady. We're going to go steady with each other. But then um, with the seven of pentacles, again, it represents um, sort of the very start of something that has to take time to be nurtured and to grow into something long lasting. And I think, you know, that really does represent a long term relationship because it sort of represents you, um, you know, laying the seed now for something that you know you have to take care of and that's how relationships are you have to be able to take care of the relationship take care of your partner and be able to you know be able to spend time with each other to grow together to learn about each other and all that other stuff you know a relationship is work <laughs> if you want it to be a healthy relationship and a good relationship and it's almost like for those of you that are single too, there's going to be this start to something. And I feel like if you've been seeing somebody, even for those of you that are single, now is going to be the time that you make it official. For those of you that are in relationships, it could be that making it official could be actually getting married. For those of you that are single, making it official could be just telling people that, oh, here is my partner. Or making the commitment to say, okay we're gonna we're, we're we're gonna be in this exclusive relationship now like we're not gonna mess around anymore <laughs> we're not just dating anymore like we're actually this is gonna go somewhere like we're thinking about the future of things so um that's nice and then your spiritual cards are the six the six uh, is the star and the six of cups what this is sort of speaking of is about wishes coming true, your hopes, wishes, desires being fulfilled in, you know, because even though the Six of Cups traditionally isn't, isn't necessarily a wish card, but when I look at this interpretation of the Six of Cups, I always feel like she's wishing on a star. And it, to me, it's so cute because it just reminds me of, you know, when you're a little kid and you have all these dreams and aspirations and stuff. And it's like to you, you your imagination kind of, runs wild but you really believe that everything and anything that you want is gonna happen is gonna come you know and then sometimes when you get older you become more cynical and then you start to realize oh you know <laughs> you know so i have certain limitations but when you're a child it's like you don't think about those limitations and so for you on a spiritual level you might be feeling like what you're hoping for you actually can obtain it's like you're not thinking in a very limited way. You're thinking in a more of a, more of a broad way. And again, maybe you feel like you can use your own creative mind to be able to not only just wish on the star and to hope for things to come to you, but to actually see it materialize. But I feel like, um, again, you might be feeling like a wish is being fulfilled for you. Maybe this is maybe this partnership is going to be that wish 
um, that gives you that fulfillment. Um, the star card is also a card of, of to me, when it shows up, it is, is to tell you that everything is okay. And it's almost, it, it's almost like the star card is the card that gives you that hug um, where after everything has gone wrong, it's almost like the mom that says to you, pat you on the back and it's like oh everything is going to be okay and you believe that everything is going to be okay because you love your mom and you know everything she says just makes you feel better like <laughs> that kind of thing like to me that's what the, the kind of effect the star card can have um especially when you look at how you know when you look at the major arcana and you put them in order it's like the way the star card lands is is that kind of healing that can take place emotional healing that kind of everything is going to be all right like the calm after the storm so um that's sort of how you're going to be feeling internally i feel like you're going to be at greater peace this month even though there's going to be maybe some conflicts with your job situation i feel like great uh, peace can be experienced for you and and there's a lot of hopefulness hope for the future as well because I think that, especially when I look at your relationships, you are thinking about a future with somebody. And I think that that's where you're sort of seeing the hope. So, I didn't pick any runes for you, actually, in advance, and I'm missing. Yeah, it's, again, it's like, there's a message of harvest coming through. Harvest uh, uh, that brings about positive, positive outcomes. So again, it's the work you put in and you receiving it back, like almost like karma. So the, what it's sort of telling me is for some of you guys, you may have gone through a situation where a relationship may have had its difficulties. Maybe even in this relationship where now we're seeing this form of wanting a commitment. Um, but now you've been prepared to really invest in a relationship and really work on things. And it's, it's maybe the two of you have both decided that, you know, we have to work on things, we have to mend things, we have to make it better. And because, of the, because both of you have gone into it with that kind of attitude, it's, positive results are going to come from that. So it's kind of saying that connecting the seven of pentacles, it's almost saying that the seeds that you plant, na plant now in terms of relationship can really blossom into something, again, that can be long term. So, and that might have been what you've been hoping for this whole time. So I'll see you guys. Oh, I'm too soon. I'm going too soon. I forgot your last card. And it says... It says there's something better. And so I know some people might be thinking, oh, well, this is sort of saying your situation, like, oh, something better will come along. I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's necessarily saying, um, oh, you, that you have to sort of, I don't know, leave who you're with because somebody better is coming along. I feel like it's almost telling you that better is going to be coming into your life from the circumstances that you're already investing in, what you're already working on developing. Something better is going to come through in terms of the, the, the efforts that you've already made. So again, I'm kind of seeing the work put into a relationship is sort of paying off. You really coming together with somebody else. And so it's saying the future is going to be even better than what you're experiencing now. Almost when I look at this woman, like when I just looked at her, especially in relation to seeing this um, high priest card, it almost looks like, you know, she could be carrying a bouquet of flowers, kind of like, you know, how um, people do when they get married, like the bride does. So I really feel like these cards are speaking to somebody that is getting married or planning on getting married. Um, so... And it's sort of saying that, you know, this commitment that you're you're making with this person, I feel like it's saying it's the right choice because it's it's going to lead to better in terms of your relationship. And again, it's green, so it's connecting to the heart chakra. So it's almost like you being united with your partner, you and your partner becoming one. So that's nice. I'll see you guys. <laughs> And I'm going for sure this time because I've, I've finished now. But yeah, bye.